Hi, everybody, and welcome to my Rick and Morty fan video. If you're a, anything like me, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I'm a really big fan of Rick and Morty, and as I'm sure all of you are, and there's a lot of cool fan theories out there. Uh, and today I'm going to share one of the coolest fan theories out there, one that I'm probably sure that you've never heard of or that you may have heard of or that nobody's thought of or said or that a lot of people have said or thought of or said said thought. Um, but before I get to that, I want to share with you some cool swag you can get. If you're a big fan of Rick and Morty, you can click on a link in a video and there will be links to things that you can buy, like this really cool Rick and Morty shirt that I'm wearing right now. Um, as you can see in this uh, particular uh, t-shirt, uh, Rick and Morty are dressed up like the characters uh, from Peabody and Sherman Time Traveling Machine. Uh, anyway. Uh, right away, I want to talk about how this is a different fan video and a different theory because this is not the evil Morty theory and this is not the Beth turns out to be uh, Rick but a lady theory or one of those theories. This is a theory that's actually rooted in the show itself and it has to do with um, Morty's relationship with Rick. Now, Morty, you may remember, is one of the characters from the Rick and Morty show along with Rick, who is also in the Rick and Morty show. Uh, Rick is either Rick and or Morty, and Morty is either Morty and or Rick. Um, nobody's really established that firmly, um, but my current uh, theory is that Rick is Rick and Morty is Morty. Um, anyway, if you're a big fan of uh, Rick and Morty theories, you're going to love this one. Um, what I've noticed is if you watch the show carefully, which I have, because that's the only way to watch this show carefully. You shouldn't enjoy it. You should watch it carefully and constantly and nitpick it and not enjoy any part of it. You should slowly watch things and go, oh, that's a joke. I'd like to enjoy that joke, but I'm too busy watching carefully and breaking stuff down in it. You'll notice certain patterns tend to emerge. And uh, one of the things that I've theorized is that Rick may very well be Morty's grandfather. Now, stay with me here for a minute. What I'm saying is that Rick has a particular relationship that is similar to the relationship that a father has with a son, but once removed. So he's more like his grandfather than, say, his father. Um, now, the reason I don't think he's his father is because Jerry is his father. And as we've seen in previous videos I've made, Jerry and Rick are different people. And so it would make no sense if uh, Rick were Jerry or if Jerry were Rick. Um, now stick with me here. Um, in an earlier episode of Rick and Morty, one of the episodes that you could have seen before one of the later ones that was released, um, Rick refers to Morty as his grandson. Well, that's an interesting uh, nomenclature that would only make sense if Rick was his grandfather. Now, um, of course, this is not absolute proof, but consider the relationship of Summer to Rick. A lot of people have written into me and asked, is Summer uh, Morty's mom? No, Summer is his sister. And I know this because at some points, uh, Summer has referred to Morty as her brother, which would make her, his sister. I know that that's a little complicated, but if you check the math on that, that works. Now we know that Summer is the granddaughter of Rick. Now, if Summer is the granddaughter of Rick, which is firmly established from times when she said, hey, I'm your grandfather, or, or hey, you're my grandfather, or, or I'm your granddaughter, or some kind of phrase like that that is common in the show, then that would mean that if she is indeed the sister of Morty, um, or if Morty is her brother, then that would make Rick, by uh, the transitive property, uh, Morty's grandfather. Uh, but there's also episode-specific things that I can refer to. So, for example, in the episode Turkey's Away, I don't know if you remember that episode, but it was a hilarious episode where uh, Jerry... Uh, when he got that job at the radio station, decides to uh, drop a bunch of turkeys on the city of Quahog. 
And uh, because at the end of the episode, he goes, darn it, I thought that turkeys could fly. And then it turns out that they couldn't uh, until Rick made a machine that made turkeys fly and then turkeys could fly. But up until then, in the classic episode, turkeys away, uh, we see uh, the turkeys not flying. And at the very end of it, Rick goes, boy, it's a, it's a good thing you're my grandson, Morty. And it's there that I think, oh, he must be his grandfather. But there's other episodes too. I don't know if you remember the episode, the one with the jellyfish. Um, and that particular episode, uh, um, Beth gets stung by a jellyfish and uh, uh, Jerry is at the beach and gets stung. He offers to help her out, but it's kind of this thing where you're like, will they or won't they? Are they going to end up together? Because up until then, of course, it had been mostly about Ross and Rachel, but now we see the jellyfish episode and suddenly it's about Beth and Jerry. And then in that episode, I don't know if you remember, but Beth goes, uh, she goes, could you be any more a grandfather to Rick? And that's the part where I was like, oh, maybe Rick's a grandfather. And uh, that, that could be a thing that happened. And then there was also the puppy episode um, where we find out that Rick uh, uh, is fine with the fact that Ellen's gay. And he's totally cool with it. And he's like, look, I don't care that you're gay and glad, happy for you, but you just got to know that I am Morty's grandfather, which is further proof that uh, she might be his grandfather. And then, of course, there's the uh, classic episode, The Contest, where uh, Rick, Morty, Summer, Mr. Meesex, Billy, Donnie, um, Gavin, and Julio, uh, uh, Chucha, and uh, everybody agree not to self-pleasure themselves. And they have a contest and they bet money about the contest. And they'll go, hey, the first person to lose this contest is a grandfather. And then, of course, Rick very famously in that episode masturbates for 25 minutes. And we're all like, ah, he must be the grandfather. And so anyway, that's my Rick and Morty theory. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope that I enjoyed this. I didn't. I didn't enjoy this at all. But I hope that I did. I hope that someday I can gain pleasure from something. Um, it seems really unlikely. And I, you know, that's just, just the burden I bear. <laughs>